Okay, we are ready. I've made myself a, a quick suit of iron armor. <laughs> Again, another thing that I lost to the end. Uh, the void, even. And here we go. All right, we're here. Where are we gonna set up? Let's see. I think. Hum, 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 hum. I know what I want to do. Let's um, portal on the wall there. Let's see. I think we'll go this way, like I was saying earlier. Let's get my sword up the ready. What we want is a nice, decent pool of lava. Hopefully, I won't have to go all the way down there. Oh. Bring it! Bring it! Um, no, we're not going to go that way. Well, one of the things I can do... Now that I've put my portal over there. Come on, then. Yeah. Rubbish shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Right, we can just portal gun shot down there, can't we? Do, 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 do. Ooh. Down there. There we are. <laughs> Head back. And straight through. Whoop. Hello, Jesus. <laughs> that was a bit scary. Oh, God damn it. There we go. All right. So, I've brought a nice big stack of cobblestone with me so we can essentially just build out. I wonder. Can we? Oh, we can as well. Look at that. Right, what I'm going to do is build it right here. Um, let's just, I don't know, make it about this big. May need to go and get some more uh, cobble, but this pickaxe is crazy. <laughs> okay, let's make it that big. And we'll completely encase ourselves in. Go away, Mr. Blobby Blob Blob. We don't want you around here. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go back. Okay. Not a major problem. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go back. If I do. Green, wasn't it? Green, yes. Green. And then I'm gonna go and get some more cobblestone, so I'll be right back. Okay, so. There we go, I've built it. Um, so the plan is, uh, well, let's see. We can probably, very carefully, knock that out. Oh yeah, look at that, I knew it. This is why I built it like this. So if I put the pump there, let's move that cobble out of the way. Pump right there. That's a bit better. And um, Wait a minute, let me think about this. I shouldn't have put it right there, in fact. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Um, we need to make... We need to make this a little a little larger. Bear with me. Right. That's a little bit better. I just extended it by one block. So now we can pull the pumps all around. And uh, one on top, like so. And then we can get our redstone torches. And... Dum, 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 dum. That should work. One there. And one there. And one there. Yes. So there we go. So reds, uh, four redstone torches on one pump should be plenty. Uh, when it finally picks up speed, then it should be ready to rumble. Um, and what we're going to need to do now is... So water. Wait a minute. Can I just... Oops. I think I can just do it with a gold one. I've brought a bit of stuff with me because I'm never 100% sure with this bloody pipe system. So let's put one there. Yes, it works. Okay, so that can go straight into our uh, liquid transposer like so. That should start filling up. And it is. So there we go. Nicely, nicely. Um, and I've actually forgotten to bring buckets 
or tins with me. Uh, so we'll have to sort that out. Um, okay, so what I'm going to use here is um, an iron transport pipe into this chest and I've decided, well I've not decided but I've brought a colour with me because I know that people are using these. So if I just colour that blue, um, anything with that colour blue there will basically belong to me. So if I put these like that, uh, I'm going to need to bring this wrench with me. I uh, may have got that right, I don't know. I'll bring a wrench with me. So I'm going to go back and I think I'm going to use tin cans. Uh, it's like the favourite thing to be used. Especially if you watch Die Wolf, he likes to use tin cans. So let's go and get some tin cans. Now before we go back, um, I've, I've got my aluminium cans. Sorry, I was calling them tin cans, but they're actually aluminium cans. Um, I forgot that I needed a, a, a magmatic engine to actually power the equipment. So. Uh, we're just going to quickly have a look at one of those. So that's a magmatic engine there. This is what we're going to be using. And for this you need invar ingots. So f to make invar ingots you need to make a blend. And this is it here, the invar blend, which is basically pulverised iron and pulverised uh, ferrous metal. Now you can get that from mining. I'll show you in here. Uh, I've got a st half a stack there. Um, but you can also get it from uh, the pulverizer. Sometimes you get it in here. So I've actually already had 14 from just pulverizing um, iron and stuff. So now we've got uh, 33. I'm just pulverizing some iron back into to uh, pulverized iron. Uh, you can use dust as well from the other mods. Uh, let's see. So we've got a little bit to get it on with. We'll just get some of this and then we can start making one. So if we go onto the recipe, you will see that the recipe is different for making a gear. So like with the others you need wood, but with this you just need iron and the invar ingots. So we'll get those made as soon as we can get some blend. Once you've got the blend like that, you get this invar blend and you just simply smelt it. Job's good and like that. So we're just going to wait for this to uh, pulverise back into pulverised iron and we'll get that blend made. Okay, so there's the blend cooking away and uh, they should start popping out the back any second. There they are. So once we've got, um, I think I'll get all of these. I've got 27, whoops, and a stack in there. Yeah, so we've got loads, loads and loads and loads. Um, once those are done, we'll get the magmatic engine and we'll head back to the nether. So, oh, more waiting, but for you guys it'll be a split second. See you in a mo. Okay, we've got enough now, so uh, I'm going to make our magmatic engine, so let's see, press C, uh, we've got the redstone transmissions, uh, piston, a couple of invar gears and of course three invar across the top and there we go, a magmatic engine, fantastic. Um, let's, no, no it's okay, yeah let's, let's, uh, let's go, let's do this thing, uh, where the hell am I going? <laughs> back to the nether, it's back this way going downstairs. We're not ready for that bit just yet. And pull the hole still there. Good, good, good. So what we can do here is we can place down our magmatic engine like so and get some more of this gold, uh, golden conductive pipe. Put it like so. Oh, wrong one. Silly me. <laughs> Not golden conductive pipe. Ugh. We need golden waterproof pipe. <laughs> Derp. Okay, there we go. We've got it now. This is why I brought plenty with me. And as you can see, that will now also fill this up as well as power the magmatic engine, which in turn powers this. And if we stick uh, a tin can in, let's try it with just one. That should... Where's that gone? Did that work? Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. So it, for some reason it, it, it's got a little bit of a buggy UI. So if we start sticking all of these cans in there, that will fill up the aluminium cans, which will then in turn go into our ender chest. And there we are, a lava container. So what we can do now is, on the other end, is come back uh, go home and get get the other 
and the chest and pull them out into another liquid transposer because you can turn the direction of this from in to out and get that to fill up uh, a silo of some sort. Yeah, and then of course we're going to need to get the tin cans to come back again and into the liquid transposer. So uh, for now, this is good. This will do. Uh, let's head home and start working on the next bit. So it dawned on me as I was making the uh, these, where have they gone? There they are, my magmatic engines, um, which obviously I need to power all the equipment that I've left in the nether. It dawned on me that there's an easier way to do this instead of using uh, the ender chest, and that would be, of course, uh, Tesseracts. So um, I've been looking at my resources and wondering if I can afford it or not, and I think I can do it at a push. Uh, you know, I've got like five stacks of 64 there, I've got a few other bits and bobs, I could probably convert some of my gold and some of my diamonds if I really need to. But if you have a look at the recipe for a liquid tesseract, um, tesseracts essentially uh, teleporters. If you remember in TechIt you had like pipe teleporters, well these are um, the thermal expansion version of that. Uh, so you've got energy tesseracts, liquid tesseracts, item tesseracts, uh, tesseract frame, and an unattained tesseract. Anyway, so uh, liquid tesseract is the one we want. If I bring up the recipe for that, you'll see that it's, you know, the fairly standard um, layout that you'd expect to see from a, a thermal expansion one, with the exception of this uh, tesseract in the middle. So, if I bring up the recipe for that, you'll see that we need a, a liquid transposer, and this is molten ender. So this is where it's going to get expensive, which is why I'm looking at my iron and thinking maybe I can convert most of that into uh, ender pearls. Because um, you can do that with transmutation. Uh, so, yes, I'm going to need to make a liquid transposer. Um, and uh, I think that's it. Oh, an induction smelter, which I've already made um, while I was making the, the magmatic engines. Uh, so we need pulverized obsidian and lead ingots. Uh, so I've got the lead. Um, the obsidian should be okay. I should have enough. Um... Let's see, we've got pulverized lead. What else is there? Lead ingots. I apologise if you hear any banging, by the way. My next door neighbour's having some work done on their roof. And obviously, my uh, recording room is in my attic. So, if you hear any banging, that's what that is. Right, so yeah, there's my um, induction smelter. And what you can do with an induction smelter is you can have two um, items in here and it'll smelt it into one. So, for example, um, making the uh, reinforced glass with the pulverized stuff, obsidian, and the other the other item that I needed, I forgot already, I'm terrible, I'm terrible, I know, anyway, yeah, so I've got a bit of obsidian there, um, is there a recipe for obsidian, oh, of course, yeah, I can do it with wood, I think I've got quite a lot of wood, let's see, I got wood, <laughs> let's see, let's see, oh, I've not, but I can borrow some from Gag, I won't mind, I'll trade him something for it, Um. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. So we're going to make a liquid transposer. So let's have a look. This is expensive. Because we obviously need two. Oh god. Spelling. Where is it then? Is that it? Liquid transposer. Recipe for that. Fairly standard. Yeah, we can do this. No problem. Let's see if I can just narrow that down. There we go. Right, liquid transposer. So let's get one of these made. Catch you all in a moment. Oh. 